turn it now, Dick. Hand me over! Don't be selfish! His name is Dick Hardly? As in he hardly has a... my browser today and I got this weird pop-up that said Chrome is no longer supporting Flash. And then a couple days later, I get this. What's the point of updating if no one's gonna see it? So I looked it up and then I came across this article that basically confirmed everything, where it says that Chrome will completely remove Flash support in 2020. And that just made me think, who, what, when, where, and why? Are they getting rid of it? Seriously. I'm not as computer savvy as I used to be, but I'm guessing this removal is because the software isn't up to date. We're not using Flash and Java as much as we did before, and obviously with it no longer being used in favor of more reliable software, which I guess is HTML5. Don't come for me, web gurus. My knowledge of coding and stuff is at the basic level of Lisa explains it all. Then it just makes sense to gradually phase out this outdated technology. So you know what we like to do here. Hearing about this news brought me back to a simpler time when the internet was run by Java and Flash programs. Most notably, it brought me back to a time where I played an endless amount of Flash games on websites like Newgrounds and CartoonNetwork.com. I mean, old school Cartoon Network is basically gone, but I wonder what's gonna happen to all the Flash games that remained on Newgrounds. Are they still gonna run smoothly? The last time I talked about Flash games was during my review of Cartoon Cartoon Summer Resort. That was really popular on the Cartoon Network website. And as the title suggests, today we're back with another video on Cartoon Network Flash games. Except this time we're gonna be talking about, you guessed it, the Powerpuff Girls! Blossom, Bubbles, and Buttercup have seen better days. Buttercup looks like she fell in some mud. But thanks to good old third-party Flash websites that steal games from better websites and have a pretty suspect handful of Elsa and Barbie games, I was able to scrounge up some of these old-school Powerpuff Girl games that I played when I was a little kid. But because we can't play them using Firefox and Chrome, we're gonna have to boot up Internet Explorer. What? Oh, silly me. That's Microsoft Edge, aka the better Internet Explorer. <laughs> Where are my manners? My bad. My bad. Let's boot up the real Internet Explorer. Seriously though, on a side note, it feels like anytime I boot up Internet Explorer, which is like never, it just goes so incredibly slow, like it's got a virus on it. Like it really is a dead browser. Oh, okay, we're on Explorer. It's working now. The first game we'll be looking at is the Powerpuff Girls Pillow Fight game. This thing was awesome. Do you know how much fun real pillow fights are? Real pillow fights can actually leave you with a few cuts and scrapes. Can you imagine getting bopped with the power of Chemical X? And not just that, these girls had actual stats, okay? So you could implement strategy while playing. Powerpuff Girls ain't flying around, okay? We had Blossom who throws the fastest, Bubbles who moves the quickest, and Buttercup who has the fastest recovery rate. It's kind of cool that so much much thought was put into how their skill sets varied. I mean, it's just a dinky flash game from the early 2000s. Could you imagine how much cooler and more intricate it would have been if it was built as a console game? Uh, never mind. The rules are simple. You have two minutes to lay down the law and get the highest score among the other girls. Just land the most hits and you win. Not only did the girls have their own unique abilities, but the pillows that spawned also had their own stats as well, like the blue pillows, known as the exploding pillows, would hit anyone standing near the point of impact. The red boomerang pillows, my personal favorite, could be thrown at a total of three times before it disappeared, and the green pillows were more or less regular pillows that could be thrown just once. This game is just as intense as I remembered, especially since everyone's moving so fast, the time is ticking, and you don't exactly know where the pillows are going to spawn. There's no way to really block from oncoming attacks, so either you stay out of the line of fire or you get hit. Everyone's on their toes here. And can we talk about the intense looks on their faces. I'm used to Buttercup wearing a frown all the time, but look how scary Blossom and Bubbles look here. They really ain't f***ing around. I mean, just look at her. And all throughout the chaos, we got the professor in the back hollering at you like, Girls, calm down. No, you calm down, professor. I have to win. I'm not a child anymore. I'm a grown adult playing the Powerpuff Girls. Yay! 
<laughs> on to the next game. Next game we'll be taking a look at is called Pipeline Panic. One of those classic pipeline matching games you'd see online or like, you know, in Bioshock. Yeah, remember that game? This time we play as Professor Utonium. We have to help him put together his piping system or else the sugar, spice, and everything nice will spill onto the floor and ruin the formula. Oh, so this takes place right before the Powerpuff Girls were born. I guess we better do this right or we might end up with something awful. So if you haven't played a pipeline game before, basically it works sort of like Tetris where little valve blocks are pushed through a queue and have to be placed carefully in order to complete the circuit. Only difference is they have to be the exact valve so that the liquid can safely get from point A to point B. And you can't rotate the pipes either, so whenever I got a pipe that didn't work, I had to place it somewhere on the ground so I could use it later. But this became increasingly difficult and stress inducing as the levels went on because I kept placing valves on the ground and I kept getting stuck by trapping myself between valves and you only really have a certain amount of time before. Oh shit. Uh oh. Uh. Please leave. Speaking of abominations, does anyone remember the game All Monsters Attack? The city of Townsville is under attack. Hideous monsters are attacking Little Tokyo from all sides, and it's up to the Powerpuff Girls to defeat them by operating the dynamic, nanotectronic mono robot, known as Dynamo for short. Created by the professor specifically for the Japanese kaiju mech fighting episode known as Uh Oh Dynamo. This is a basic fighting game with three rounds and three sets of attacks and blocks. <laughs> oh yeah, we're eSports! What's now, baby? You also get a special by using the spacebar command and an energy meter so you won't spam the same move over and over and yeah, go to chemical extraction. Why does it feel like the Powerpuff Girls have all this untapped potential of becoming legit fighting games? Devs, somebody, get on this! On top of this, you can actually do couch multiplayer and play with a friend. Uh, kind of. All you gotta do is scooch over and share your keyboard. Can I just say this was a lot easier when our butts didn't take up an entire seat? I'm gonna be honest. I don't like that your butt's touching my butt, okay? But yeah, this game was pretty fun, and each round would bring in a different monster with their own unique difficulties. If you weren't allowed to play Street Fighter or Mortal Kombat, this would have been the perfect watered-down G-rated Flash game made just for you. And by far, one of my favorites up there next to the pillow fighting game Game is the Flash game Powerpuff Girls vs. the Rowdy Rough Boys. Now the Rowdy Rough Boys didn't show up a whole lot in the cartoon, but they were basically made by Mojo Jojo to oppose the Powerpuff Girls if I'm remembering that correctly. So I can't seem to find this game anywhere, and the weirdest thing is that I legitimately played this game two weeks before I had to do this video, and now it suddenly disappeared. That's pretty weird, actually. Hey, but thank goodness for YouTube, right? The Rider of Boys are talking shit, and it's your job to beat their asses. What started the beef? Sexism. So it's up to the Powerpuff Girls to teach them a lesson. Use your mouse to click and drag each individual Powerpuff Girl over to the opposing Rowdy Rough Boys and hit the space bar to land a punch. Filling up each of the three meters will activate your Powerpuff Special. And yeah, there wasn't really much to this game, but I guess I really liked it because we rarely saw the Rowdy Rough Boys on the show and they legit look like crappy OC fan creations. So seeing them always fueled me to coming up with my own characters and making up expanded lore in my mind. This is Blaze. Blaze is my Powerpuff Girl. You know, we've been looking at a lot of fast-paced, anxiety-inducing, quick-thinking types of games. Why not just wind down and play something with a little bit more leisure in mind, huh? How about we take a look at the Powerpuff Girls cartoon snapshot game. In this game, we play a photographer working for the newspaper known as the Townsville Daily. And it's our job to snap cool photos of the Townsville residents. It kind of works like one of those paper doll games where you have to drag and drop assets onto the screen to compose your own cool shots that'll wind up in the paper once you're all finished. You can scroll through the camera roll to look for different images so you can stage your own scenes. Definitely not as action-packed as the games we were playing earlier, but I don't know, I used to have a pretty good time going through some of these making up my own stories. I'd try to come up with funny scenarios and then I'd print them out afterwards. It's like a really chilled way of storyboarding and fun for kids who liked online paper doll websites. I mean, that stuff was my jam. Yeah, I, I don't really have much jokes for this one. Surprise, surprise. It's just a neat little relaxing game to pass the time. So sue me. And those were some of the most memorable Powerpuff Girls games that 
I can think of that existed on the old school Cartoon Network website. I feel like I'm missing some really good ones. But like I said, I wasn't able to find that much on third party Flash websites. So if you remember playing any fun Powerpuff Girls games, don't forget to leave a comment below. Oh, whoops. And because I want you guys to experience the same amount of fun that I did, I'm gonna leave a link to all of them in the description box below. But you're gonna have to use Internet Explorer. Until the next video, I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye. Wait, say it in Powerpuff, hold on. Right, Bubbles? Yeah, that's right. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye. There we go.